My name is Gabriela Martinez, and I'm the After School Program Coordinator here at Catholic Charities. And my name is Ejovan Reed. I am the After School Teacher here at Catholic Charities. Um, one of my roles is to develop the curriculum for our students as well as teach the curriculum. And Gabby coordinates the program to make sure that it runs efficiently. So our after school program services the refugee population, which is uh, primarily Burmese near uh, Ailey Bias Elementary. A refugee is someone who has fled their country in order to escape war, persecution, or natural disasters. We can currently work with 16 refugee elementary students from Burma. They are in grades 3rd, 4th, and 5th, with the exception of one second grade female who we have included due to a personal family matter. We work to prepare them both academically and socially for their new life in the United States. One of the key challenges that we have faced with this population is that the language barrier that some of the kids face can sometimes be a challenge for us. Some of the students are new arrivals and have either very limited English or need to improve their English skills. We also try to communicate with parents who do usually do not speak any English. This can also be a problem. <clears throat> Fortunately, we have managed to overcome this through use of our own staff, some of which have come from Burma as refugees. All of our students come from economically challenged families. Many lack adequate clothing, which we are able to provide through donations. Unfortunately, we cannot address every concern that these children or their families have, but we make an attempt to do so. We get the opportunity each year to distribute Christmas gifts to every student in our program ensuring that their Christmas is as amazing as any other child. Impact of our program is measured by percentage of students promoted to the next grade level. Our target goal is for 90% of students to be promoted. We also do academic assessments to find out what areas we should target with our students. Assessments are generally done in the beginning and ending of the program. Also, we interact with the school staff of College Elementary such as the communities and school coordinator, as well as teachers to fully understand how we can help each student as well as what progress they have made and are they on the right track. We would like to expand our program, which presently serves only one school. By the use of this grant, we would be able to do so. The school we would like to service is an HISD school, Forrester Elementary, whose refugee population is far more vast than Collins. We would also like to reestablish our program within Sneed Elementary, another school with a large refugee population. We are unfortunately able to serve one school only at the time. However, this grant would aid in the expansion of our program. <clears throat> also, we love taking our students to different events within Houston. However, sometimes transportation can be an issue, as most of our events are on the weekend. We would use some of the funds to address this as well. Thank you for your consideration of our programs.